Bonjour Friendship Ladies, in this video, 8 best and 8 worst pieces from designers. In my previous video on Amazon best-selling items, I was showing you the best-selling items and also I gave you the alternatives. In our video today, I will do the same, showing you the best ones and the worst ones of designer pieces this time. And all these pieces are available at Luisa Via Roma and I will give you the links below this video. So let's get right into it. Let's start off with shirt. The best shirt here today is by Gucci and it is a vintage lace shirt and I think that looks beautiful. It adds a feminine touch especially if you like the kind of waistcoats I'm wearing or the tweed jacket. You're playing with a masculine and a feminine vibe. A 10 out of 10 French chic from me. And now for the worst one. And this one is from Galerie Department X Lanvin. And we have the asymmetric look, but also a patchwork of handprints all over the shirt. I mean, as a woman, would you like handprints all over the shirt, especially around the breast area? I think it's a no no. What were they thinking? Please let me know what you think below this video. A definite thumbs down from me. Moving on to sweaters, and this one is the best sweater from Brock Collection. And why has it got the thumbs up from me, this one? Because not only has it got the turtleneck top, it is a chunky sweater as well, so you're hitting two trends. And also look at the shape of this, it gives you a wasp waistline. You can wear it with a belt at the waistline and you have the peplum over your hips and I think that will give you a fantastic hourglass figure, a definite thumbs up French chic from me. You won't believe the worst sweater. The worst sweater today is from Balenciaga. What were you thinking Balenciaga? Just look at the sight of this sweater. I mean they call it distress, I call it completely demolished by, uh, by your dog, by Kudlo. I don't really understand the distressed look because not only it is highly priced, but you kind of pretend you can't afford nice clothes. So you, you're wearing distressed look. I think it's a definite thumbs down French chic from me Balenciaga. The good thing French chic ladies in doing the best and worst is that it trains your eye for style because it's showing you what you can attain and also mm, what not to go towards. Moving on to the best jeans and these are absolutely fabulous and also flattering for you and this is why I chose them for you. They are high waist, boot cut, wide leg and I keep telling you my French chic ladies that you should wear boot cut trousers because of the flattering effect on your legs. It will lengthen your legs. So it is a Bravo Zimmerman from me. You won't believe her worst jeans. This one is a number two worst item from Balenciaga. Again, Balenciaga, you can do better than this. And look at the state of this. On the side, you will look like a planter. So I think Balenciaga here wanted to show you the total distressed look. Distress sweater, distress jeans, OMG, I don't even want to look at their shoes. <laughs> A definite thumbs down from me. So far, please let me know what you think of those best end words. Let us know in the comments below. Moving on to our best skirt. And this one is from Gucci. Gucci is doing very well in our video today. Bravo. And we have a jupe plissée en lin mélangé. This pleated skirt looks very smart indeed and it is very much in the new season trend because we're having a lot of tailoring. So for Gucci again, a definite thumbs up from French Chic Me. If you want to know more about the fall trends, check out my previous video on the 7 most wearable fall trends. Now moving on to the worst skirt and this one is from Alexander McQueen. Alexander McQueen has fabulous tailoring but sometimes he does things absolutely mm, you know things that almost make me cringe this one is a shocker because this skirt is in leather leather is more or less always on trend so that's nothing wrong with this but let's remember that leather is thick fabric 
so it adds a little bit of bulk to our silhouette. And this one on this skirt, Alexander McQueen had a good idea to add even more volume in and detailing uh, to the side of the skirt in kind of frills. Uh, so it will add bulk to your silhouette, to your legs. And it added also even more detailing in zips and frills at the bottom. So that thing is to be avoided if you want to have the lean, slimming look. So this skirt is a thumbs down from me. So please let me know what you think and if you agree with my choices so far. I recently did a special offer called Slim While You Trim and it was so popular that I'm redoing it now and uh, it's a bundle of two of my most popular courses Eat Like a French Woman and Minimize a Big Tummy. Have a look at the link below this video. Oh, the best dress is so lovely. <sighs> I tell you, this is a coup de coeur from me. This dress from Max Mara is a robe plissée en serge de soie imprimé. I think even the description of it is fantastic. Just as the previous skirt, it is a must-have. Again, if you love it, the link is below this video. OMG, this dress, imagine it worn with black or brown knee-length boots. That would be absolutely beautiful. So definite bravo and thumbs up from me, Max Mara. And now we have the worst dress from Moschino. First of all, it's a sweat dress. You know, the kind of um, sweatshirt dress. It is absolutely shapeless. You are also paying to advertise the brand. And it has a teddy bear at the front. Very childish and immature look. Please let me know what you think, but definite, definite thumbs down from me, Moschino. Moving on to the best jacket or coat. And this one takes Alexander McQueen from zero to hero. Just a look at this beautiful jacket. And Alexander McQueen does beautiful tailoring. Okay, maybe not so much the previous skirt, but the tailored blazers and jackets are usually absolutely wonderful. It gives you the beautiful eyeglass shape and look at the back, absolutely love the detailing. And in this case, you don't notice from the front, but a person, you know, turns away and you see the beautiful lacing at the back. And that adds to, to the look and it gives it sexy vibe. A definite thumbs up, 10 out of 10 from me, Alexander McQueen. And our worst jacket or coat is a coat from Max Mara. So we had the best dress from Max Mara previously, but this time we have the worst coat. So Max Mara went from hero to zero. Just look at this shocker. Okay, I know paddy jackets are well liked and they are everywhere, but look at this. There is padded and there is padded. Uh, this one will make you look like a Michelin man is going to add so much to your to your silhouette. You will no longer have a silhouette. Absolutely awful. Max Mara can do so much better. I don't know what happened here. Uh, I just don't know. This one slipped in somehow from goodness knows where. My best tip for you is this winter, put this coat on your boiler. Moving on to the best and worst boots. And again, we have Gucci in the best ones. So well built that you can see that they will elongate your legs. They will give you a slimline look to below your knee. What can I say? Except that you make the investment in those boots. You will keep them for years to come. Gucci, a very much a hero from me in this video. Bravo. And now we have the worst boots. These are from Rick Owens. They remind me of um, kind of even of a horror movie. Really big platform and it has something attached to the front. Ugh. I'm just trying to find something to say. <laughs> it's um, no. Before I leave you with our last item, I would like to thank you for watching this video. And if you are enjoying it, please click like. Share this video with your many friends. Don't forget to subscribe and also please click on that little bell for notifications. 
At the end of this video, you will have a playlist on how to be chic and elegant. Finally, moving on to bags, the best and worst bag. And I choose for you the best bag from Valextra. For those of you who love bags, this one is a beauty. Very slim line. So you have the ivory leather and you have the small black piping all around. It has a beautiful handle. For me, this one is ultra, ultra chic and elegant. So a definite thumbs up from me, Valextra. And this worst bag is from Le Maire. And this bag really made me laugh because it's called Le Croissant. And I assure you that we French women, we prefer to have a croissant au petit déjeuner, but not so much on our shoulder. 